Hello everybody, I'm Kevbottomy and welcome to another Minecraft video and today we are going to be looking at my top 5 tips for building with purple. Yes, we are talking the purple stuff that you get from end city dungeons guarded by shulkers. Now I love this stuff, it's a great building material and I think it gets a lot more hate than it deserves. I think it's a great looking block and there's lots of ways you can use it in builds. Today we're going to learn a bit more about how to do that. So first things first is purper is a brick and you want to be using it in builds where you are using a brick of some kind. So it works good for structures that would be made of bricks, say for example a castle or something. And it's also really good for, you know, maybe a sidewalk or path of various kinds. So in that sense, it's a little bit limited. So tip number two involves choosing an effective color palette to go with your purple. Now this can range from varying shades of purple, blue, red, grays, whites, and also tans and light browns work well as well. So here we have a prismarine, purple, quartz, stone slab, and mycelium combo, and that all works well for our little starting palette there. Now I've got another one here for you. Here we've got the nether themed purple build. We've got the nether brick fence. We've got nether brick, red nether brick. We've got the nether warp block, and we've also got a magma, magma block with a torch on it for light. Then of course the fence adds some texture and depth. Another palette primarily revolves around the use of quartz in a temple-like structure. And here we also take advantage of the prismarine and kind of try to minimize the appearance of the purple. Next we use purple as an accent again, this time to add color to this stone wall alongside the diamond ore. All of these different... a. Eh, palettes, they work well with purple, and I'm sure there's a lot of different combinations people can find that will also work really well for decorative building. So purple tip number three, it was kind of alluded to earlier, but it only really applies more to builds that are centered around the purple. It doesn't really apply so much if you're using it as an accent, just a dash of purple here and there. But even then it can still apply. But the tip is to use multiple shades and textures of purple. Now there are lots available and purple is obviously an alternate brick to the nether brick. You know, if you don't want such a compact small brick-like texture, you can use your bigger more stone brick-like texture with purple. Now mycelium offers you a grass variant. You get Play, you get glass, you get obsidian. There are lots of purple options that go well with the purple, and they can definitely be taken advantage of. Now, especially with the nether, nether brick, you also get stairs and slabs, so you can use that to mix up texture variations and depth. So tip number four is to, it, it's a bit more of a generic building tip, but it definitely applies very much to purple, and that is depth. You do not want to build a big flat wall because that will just look terrible. Even if you intend to only use the square purple texture for a wall, it's not gonna look good without any kind of depth. Now, even as soon as you say, throw some stairs into the mix, you're going to get some more variation and might end up looking a little bit better. As you can see, the wall is a little bit more interesting just by adding some stairs. Maybe if I add some stairs there and there and just add a little bit of depth to the wall, maybe add some stairs along the top and bottom like so. All of a sudden, we have transformed 
this plain blank purple wall into something that's almost worth looking at, maybe. Even so, purple looks a lot better with some block variation. You don't just want to only use a single kind of brick. It's going to get very stale very quick. And so it's much recommended to use other blocks and develop a variable palette. All right, guys, so for the fifth and final tip, we're going to just be looking at a few unique properties of purple and some honorable mentions as to building with it that I didn't include in these building schemes here. Also, we're going to be checking out a couple other little builds I've been working on, get some spoilers as to some upcoming videos I'll be making. And both of these builds will involve purple, and they look very good in my opinion. So first and foremost, we're just going to talk about purple. If you're using it in a modern build, you probably only want to include it for the foundation and then try to get your purple color in through glass or maybe clay just because the purple doesn't look very good as a modern style structuring block and arguably it looks pretty good with endstone bricks but I don't know I'm, I'm not a huge fan um, next we take a look at this guy right here and how he used the single square in the corner of the purple block as its own little decorative feature. I think that is cool and can be used in other stuff. Now, another thing we will quickly mention is that the endstone pillar, or not endstone, purple pillar, goes really well with the end rod. Yeah, they just look really nice together. They flow really well. It's centered nicely in the square. Yeah, just works. Now, let's go and take a quick peek at those lovely spoiler builds. So, here we are. We are in the world, and if I turn around, we've got lovely flowers, and we've got some kind of crazy structure behind me, and it is it's actually a really pretty looking purple castle. Now, I don't want to give too much away here, so I'm not going to show it off too much, but if you take a look, the purple is mainly used for the castle's brick structure. Then we've got other complementary blocks filling in the gaps and creating some cool looking patterns. And that's kind of the big idea with using purple is either you're using it to accent a build or you're picking a build theme that can properly apply purple as a brick. Now we're going to go and take a look at the other one real quick. All right, guys, so here we are. We are in the next world, and if I swing around, there it is, the top of it, the whole thing I have built, just kind of a nice little tower, and the theme was to basically combine the nether with the end, do a evil-styled build that involved the purple, but didn't use purple necessarily as its main, main component. The main component would be the nether brick. And yeah, I think it looks really fantastic. But with that said, guys, I'm going to have to let you go there. That's all I've got time for for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see the video for this tower or that castle, make sure you hit subscribe so you can stay up to date with the channel and see those when they come out. And I will thank you for watching, and I'm out of here. Bye.